Hi everyone, I thought I would do a um, an additional video today, uh, which is my Christmas planner setup, um, just uh, to celebrate the 100 subscriber mark. Um, I'll be back later with my junk journal day six, um, although that might be first thing tomorrow morning as I'm going to the cinema tonight, so I'll have to do it when I get home, film it, edit it, upload it, etc. So um, keep an eye out for that. This is a Foxy Fix, it's a pocket size planner. I changed the string, I originally ordered it uh, with a white string and I've changed it to red. And I've got a little iridescent bow there on the spine and there it's stamped Foxy Fix. It does have a pocket at the top and I've got some stickers in there. I've got a couple of Starbucks gift cards which I bought for the kids' teachers. And I've got some Christmas sweater stickers some post dates and i'll put a one and a two in these and i normally add these on the last dates for posting first and second so i do postcards out to friends and family and then i've got these from the plant planner um i think i got these last year and uh, these ones the year before and these are just the ones i haven't used up so i've stuck those throughout my um weekly spread just to give it a bit of a bit of a fun touch i'm not really a major sticker planner um, I do like just to write in my mind, it's very functional. I like to decorate it like this. Um, that's where I get creative, not really in the weekly spreads because for me it has to be functional. So I've got some card at the back, uh, which is just cut to size. It's just gold card, nothing special. Um, and it's just there to add a bit of sparkle because you can never overdo the sparkle at Christmas, can you? Um, this is a washi card. I ordered this, it's simply gilded washi and I ordered it from Stella on Etsy. Um, it came like this with the sticker on the lot. Uh, laminated i just cut it down the top on the bottom to fit in my planner uh, this is a christmas stocking clip and i had it personalized with the l uh, and there you go and that just slots in there i do i've used it i've used a little bit of it it really is more for decoration if i'm honest um sorry i keep moving about this is a um I don't know what you'd call it. I guess it's a marker. You can use whatever you want it. For me, it's just a bit of ephemera. Um, and I made this on my Cricut. So I cut the gold vinyl and then I cut the background. It's not perfect, but it's cute and I like it. So it just sits in there looking pretty. This, I believe, is from Charlie's Magpie. It is a clip, a paper clip, just a red sparkly bow paper clip. Um, and I hope the lighting's okay for you. I'm trying to make use of the natural daylight today. Friday's my day off, so... I've got some time in the day to do this. So that clips onto that bit of paper, that bit of cardstock, sorry, and slots in there so I don't have to clip it onto the actual pocket. So my sort of dashboard, if you like, is um, a piece of acetate with my name cut out that I did on my machine in gold, overlaid um, on top of this shaker dashboard, which doesn't really shake a great deal, but that's fine. Um, and it's holly confetti. And you can see it's stitched, it's machine stitched together. So it's two pieces of acetate with the confetti sandwiched in between and I've machine stitched it all together. And then I've got some red sparkly cardstock underneath, which is not laminated or anything. It's just, it's quite thick, so it's just there. So my tabs are month, week, lists and notes. And this is my sort of standard, um, tab, my divider sort of tab maker, however you want to call it, my on my Cricut software. I've got a template and I can just cut them whatever vinyl I want for that spread. So that's still in gold and it's just laminated and I cut the laminating, uh, lamination pouch just the right size. So, so basically what I did is I, I've got an A4 sheet and I spread them all out on like the outer edges of the A4 sheet, leaving enough space in between that I could cut the additional um, what I'd need. So it looks like it's stuck onto some acetate, but it's not. Um, this is my monthly spread and I made these, I made all my inserts myself. Uh, this is just December, that's all I've got in here. So there's a bit of that washi and I've added in all the important dates I need to know for December. Uh, and it's just, that's just the background. This background is from my Cricut software. Um, if you want to know how I did this, actually, it's, um, I did all this in Word. So I did my month spread all in uh, Microsoft Word. But the background, so to create it, so it almost looks like um, a, a pattern paper. I actually screenshotted this. So I've, I inserted a box into my Cricut software. I changed the fill on the box to this pattern. I took a screenshot of it. It sounds very complicated. 
I took a screenshot of it and then I imported that into Word and I laid it under um, all my templates. So I might even be able to do a recording of how I did that. It'll be a very short video though. <laughs> so I might even incorporate it into something maybe in the new year when I'm doing my January setup and I can show you how I add, you know, how I create the pattern paper underneath the uh, templates. So these, some of these, uh, I've just got boxes like here. So this is future dates. So when I do my setup for January, I can write these dates in. Um, I don't have to worry about having a whole calendar in my December planner. Uh, so week, I've got a Holly Nichols image, which I really like. Uh, and I got her images from her Instagram. So this takes you into my week. So this is last week, the end of last week. And I've literally done it from the first. So last couple of days, November from the first. And these are where those stickers have come in. Today marker I did uh, with the red cardstock and I slit the holes so I can just pop it in and out. And I don't have to keep opening the, the um, rings up to move it. So we're putting our Christmas tree up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone else has got some nice plans coming up for Christmas. We've got lots of fun things going on. So the only thing that's different is my Christmas Eve uh, and Christmas Day. So I've got Christmas Eve and Christmas Day here and I'll probably not use these boxes I might decorate them I don't know we'll see when it comes to it but I've got this piece here and I've just written Christmas Eve and Christmas Day um, and I have a Christmas Day not a great deal because you just kind of roll with it Christmas Eve there are things that I need to do so I've got I'll put the beef in slow cooker make me apple sauce Yorkshire's um, we're gonna have afternoon tea at mine we'll do ice skating so I'll write the times and the information about that there when we've booked it and we've it's all sorted so there's a lot that I have to get done and make sure that I get done on Christmas Eve so that goes right up to um, just that first full week so up to the first or the second um, I might even print maybe another week just to give me a bit of grace to get my new year like sort of um, inserts in there so my list section I've created this as like a little booklet so I put the cover on there and the cover on the back and again I did this in my Cricut software um journaling prompts this is my junk journal so on the days that i've maybe i've been at work i don't really have anything going on nothing entirely christmasy has happened that day um i've got some prompts here that will help me to be able to do a spread for that day um so i did one the other day because again i've been at work on my day three i believe it was uh, i had a wrapping sesh so i just kind of highlighted that in my junk journal um and I've got a few spare sheets there. This divider marks my sort of like list list section, which is like my lined paper, my, my more um, sort of generalised list. This, uh, these bows I downloaded from a website and I'll link that below because I can't remember the life of me who it is. Um, but I stuck them together in my Cricut and I cut them and I slit the holes again. That was originally my today marker, but it was, getting in the way because I mean, you can see it really blocks out that side so and like this where I can see through and still see my week at a glance that was just was just in the way really um so my Christmas card list these are like master lists Christmas gifts Christmas in general so my general list are things like crackers and the napkins um scratch cards I always get for me and the kids the tv times advent chocolates I've, I've made our advent calendar as well the kids advent calendar and i have to fill that with chocolates every year so i have to make sure i do that and on the back is just a picture of the kids from last year and the dog which is the third child <laughs> and i have lined paper like i said in this bit so this is literally lists lists so i just scribble things down as when i need to and i've added the bows to the tops just because they're pretty and i did the lines in green there's the back of that so notes under the holly nichols image so christmas to do's to do in 2020 crafts to try this list has grown i've been watching cursed handmade christmas this list is probably well, i would say twice as long but that's not entirely difficult it's only one thing on there this list has definitely grown so i need to add that in there it's all on my phone at the minute i've, pr I've pretty much just done these inserts so I've not got much going on in here just yet. It will get chaotic and there'll be a lot more in here by the end of December. So this I actually did wrong and I'll probably recut it 
um, I did the info at the top um, and I cut the holes down this side. So when I put it in, info was backwards. So I had to just cut it off and do this. It was late. I was getting fed up and crossed myself. So after a little bit of swearing and frustration, I just decided to cut the holes off and make do. And I clipped it onto a bit of acetate that I got from the Planner Society. I haven't been a subscriber to them for a long time. So this is a really old kit. I couldn't even tell you which one it's from now. Um, this is this clip I made. Um, it's not amazing. I made it with um, this little piece I got from either Hobbycraft or The Range. The only two real places around here that you can get stuff from. I know I got it in the shop. It's another pack of like, you know, like ten of them. So info. I've got Mum's Christmas cake. This is a cake we always have. We don't like traditional Christmas cake in our family, so we always have this current cake. Um, and that's the recipe. I've actually got the original recipe my grandma wrote um, in her handwriting, but I copied it up onto this piece. And it shows you a picture of a cake that I made in a previous year. I actually have this Merry Christmas, which I just stab into the middle. This holly is from a bush that my sister has at the end of her driveway. Um, I just washed it and poked it in as well, just to make it look really nice and festive. Eggnog, this is Jamie Oliver's recipe, if you want to know. Um, I was tried and tested, I make it all the time. Everyone turns their nose up at eggnog, but everyone that's ever tried this eggnog has loved it. So do with that what you will. <laughs> I love eggnog. I love an eggnog latte from Starbucks. Oh, God. Anyway, I won't go into what's in there, but again, it's more of that lined paper with these images on. It's got things like my uh, bills, my TV license number, that sort of jazz. So address, again, what it says on the tin. It's a little address section, which I... I I turned into a little booklet um, and it's uh, it's my Christmassy address one. So I've done the, you can see it here, the name and address and it's on that that background. Um, I will take that out. I'll keep this for next year unless someone moves um, and that will stay as it is. So in here, I've got some of the stickers for the kids' schools. Um, I've got some stamps and I've got a little um, Santa sleigh clip there. And on the in the back, on this side it's a watercolour painting that I tried. This is a YouTuber again that I saw, um, which I'll link below. Um, she did this on a different snowman painting. I just love this guy, so I thought I'd have a go at it. And that's how it turned out. So he's now sitting there looking all fun and festive. So this is a piece of acetate and I just sewed this uh, trim on here, this green sparkly trim. And this is a pen that I'm using in my planner for this year. Um, all the sparkles move about and it's lovely. There we go, look. Pretty. Um, and it just twists and it's actually really nice to write with. It's from Sainsbury's of all places. And it just sits there. So I thought where my pen is, I could open my planner up just where the pen is and I can scribble down notes. This is literally a shopping list. So when I'm done with this um, and I've used the back, I should just tear it out, throw it away. So they're like scribbly lists or something I just need to note down or if I'm on the phone to someone and they're like, have you got a pen? Ah, yeah, so I can just flip to that section and it's, it's a scribbly bit. Another Holly Nichols image and this believe is from Etsy. It's obviously for the Polar Express. Anyone who loves Christmas knows that that's from the Polar Express. <laughs> Love that film. And this is the image, if you've seen my 2018 junk journal uh, flip through which I'll pop a little card in for, so you can go and check that out. You'll know that this is the cover page where I've written December Daily at the side, and I love that image still. I've got it saved to my Pinterest, um, and I have used it there just because it's warm and cosy and it represents wintry Christmasiness for me. <laughs> and on the very back, I've got a Starbucks gift card, which I'm holding in place with an Oli clip, a gold Oli clip. Bits of tinsel and bits everywhere, look. Now it's Christmas when the boot you cast full of glitter because <laughs> of all the things that you've been buying. And then I've got these. Uh, this is just on a little piece of acetate. It's um, sticky notes from Mrs. Brimble's. And I did this little snowflake, a piece of ephemera on my Cricut. It was going to be like a little page marker or something. I wasn't even sure what I was doing with it. I just liked it. I thought I'd have a go at it. So it's just that iridescent cardstock. I laminated it in fussy cut around the edge to create that. And then I've got some gold cardstock at the very back that just matches the front. So you can see. 
put in my back pockets. So yeah, that's it. That is my Christmas planner. I keep that in uh, a pouch and the pouch I made myself, which is this little red pouch with the furry trim at the top. Um, it's just a row upon row of double crochet. I'm actually making one of these for someone in a group that I'm on in the UK at the minute. Um, as if I don't have enough going on. <laughs> I think I'm a second punishment, but I love making, so I don't mind at all. So that just slots in there nicely. That's how it looks from the top. Oh, it's so Christmassy. I made the kids some stockings out of this, which is what inspired me to create a little pouch. This is also a pouch that I've been using that I made. Um, I crochet the holly just to go on there. That was sort of more muted, muted neutral tone. That's obviously more compact as well. This is pretty chunky with this pouch on, but I love it. So why not? <laughs> is the long and short of that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you later with December Daily 2019, day six.